marked by God's love. Scripture, Psalms 25, verses 8 to 11. Good and upright is the Lord. Therefore, He instructs sinners in His ways. He guides the humble in what is right and teaches them His way. All the ways of the Lord are loving and faithful toward those who keep the demands of His covenant. For the sake of your name, Lord, forgive my iniquity, though it is great. The psalmist emphasizes God's goodness and how He instructs sinners and leads the humble. He recognizes that God's paths are marked by steadfast love and faithfulness for those who keep His covenant. David humbly asks for pardon, acknowledging his need for God's forgiveness. He highlights the importance of humility and obedience in walking in God's ways. The Lord is good and upright. Therefore, He does not leave us to our own devices. Rather, He instructs us and guides us. But note who God works with. He instructs sinners and guides the humble. He instructs sinners to repent, receive Christ, and be saved. And He guides the humble in what is right and teaches them His way. Well, guess who God is not working with? those who are self-righteous and proud. In fact, James 4 verse 6 states that God opposes the proud, and Isaiah 64 verse 6 states that all our self-righteousness is like a filthy rag before the Lord. God wants to instruct and guide us, but we must humble ourselves before Him and admit our need for His salvation. First, John 1 verses 8 and 9 states that if we claim to be without sin, we deceive ourselves, and the truth is not in us. But if we confess our sins, God is faithful and just to forgive us and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. I encourage you to go to God in prayer and humility and ask Him to guide and instruct you. Proclamation I proclaim that the Lord is my guide and life instructor. Lord, You have marked me with Your sign of love, and You teach me Your ways. You plan only the best for me. You have forgiven my sins and adopted me into Your family. You are good to me. You remember me according to Your love. You do not remember the sins of my youth or my acts of rebellion. My sin slate has been wiped clean, and you remember my sins no more. In keeping with your faithful love, you only remember me according to your goodness. Thank you, Lord. Amen. To get your copy of Proclaiming the Psalms, please go to our website, lifeworkministries.org.